Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Elaine He. Port Klang Authority Chairman Dato' Lee Hua Beng has filed a suit against Port Klang Free Trade Zone turnkey developer Kuala Dimensi Sundran Berhad at Shah Alam High Court Registry. In the suit, the PK is seeking a declaration that the interest charged on the balance purchase price of the PKFZ land was wrongly imposed. Lee says that PKA was disputing the imposition of interest in the PKFZ land purchase as well as the wrong computation of interest that might have arisen. He says the total sum in dispute might be as high as 720 million ringgit. Lee made the comments on PKFZ website Friday. Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak says a new program dubbed Ramaja Perkasa Nagara is to be implemented by next January to rehabilitate illegal motorcycle races widely known as Mat Rampit. He says the program placed under the ambit of Permata Nagara will handle young people between 18 and 25 years at high risk of getting involved in social problems. He adds that the program is not aimed at penalising these youngsters but to rehabilitate them so as to be more capable and confident. Police say drug traffickers have resorted to using express buses and express bus terminals in Kuala Lumpur and other towns as meeting and distribution places for drugs. Kuala Lumpur Narcotics Chief ACP Kang Ches Chiang says the traffickers would pose as passengers and place their bags in luggage compartments or inside the bus before a second party retrieved them at a specified destination. He says bus terminals in the city, especially in Jalan Pudu, Hantian Putra, Jalan Duta, Gombak and Jalan Pekaliling have been identified as places for such activities. The National Council for Local Government has approved two guidelines on the implementation of government development projects and development of highland areas. A ministry statement said the guideline for hillside and highland areas development planning will coordinate two similar guidelines on hillside developments issued by the Housing and Local Government Ministry and the Natural Resources and Environment Ministry. The guideline will ensure that the implementation of measures to ensure safety of lives and property and the protection of the environment according to legal requirements. Development activities will be placed under the state government's purview and local authorities must be informed of them. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Elaine He. Thanks for watching.